Hello guys, welcome back to the two predictions for I think we're on week five, week six. Um this video is sponsored by LOL T shirt company dot com. There'll be a link to them down in the description below. As part of the deal that I've done with them, they have decided to sell my first lot of merch, which also will be down in the uh, links below. Make sure you guys check out my merch. Tell me what you think about it. Um, would you like to see anything in my merch in the near future? Please put, all feel free to put it down in the comments below. But guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Crawley versus Mansfield Town. Crawley won all at Mansfield. If I remember rightly, Crawley did go 1 0 down. Um, now, the way Crawley have been playing recently, I don't think I was expecting uh, a lot more from Crawley. Mansfield, on the other hand, did beat Scunthorpe 2 0. Not a huge surprise um, for that result, really. Um, probably expecting a Mansfield win. And if I'm all honest, it's one of them things where obviously I, I wouldn't, you know, a middle range team goes to be a bottom team, it sort of happens in football. But for this one, I've gone for a 1 0 Crawley Town win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Cambridge. Crew Alexander beating Grimsby 2 0 away from home. Cambridge losing to Forest Green 1 0 at home. Um, let's go talk about Crew Alexander away result. A good result for Crew Alexander, uh, you know, probably a little bit expected, but as I've said in previous videos, you can never say never against the bottom clubs. Cambridge, you know, but probably a bit of a disappointing result considering you're at home. Um, the priest, you know, Stuff goes like that that way sometimes, but for this game, I've gone for a 3 1 crew Alexander win. My next one is Exeter City versus Lake Norian. Exeter beating Carlisle 3 3 1 away from home. Lake Norian losing Swindon Town 3 1 at home. Um, let's going to talk about. Both of these results on uh, Exeter and Lake Norian's point of view. Exeter going to Carlisle, getting the three points. Probably be more shocked if I didn't get the three points, if I'm all honest with you. But, you know, it's... As I said, you can never say never against these uh, bottom clubs. It's, you know, when the odds are in your favour. And... When I read results like this, it does look like the team turned up expecting a game. Um, Lake Norian, on the other hand, losing 3-1 to Swindon Town at home. Probably expecting more than anything, if I'm all honest. Um, you know, Lake Norian coming back up from the conference, and they're doing ever so well. Uh, you know, I think it's going to take maybe two, three years before I start pushing towards League One. And hopefully start climbing this pyramid again. But as I said, it's probably an expected result. But for this one, I've gone for a 3 0 Exeter win. My next one is Forest Green versus Colchester. Colchester 0 0 with Walsall at home. Forest Green beating Cambridge 1 0. Considering Long spoke about our Cambridge result. Let's go talk about that forest green result on the forest green point of view. Um, you know, good three points for forest green all around. Uh, if, if you're a forest green supporter, it's one of them things where you're probably worth turning up to get the three points. But you know, it's you still got to do the job at the end of the day. Um, Colchester, on the other hand, nil nil against Walsall. Uh, probably expect a little bit more from Walsall, but we get down to that when I get down to the Walsall game. Um, but for this one, I've gone for 2-1 for a screen win. My next one is Northampton Town versus Newport. 
Northampton Town loses Bradford 2 1. And I will get onto that in a minute. Um, Newport beating Port Vale 1 0. Now, as I've just said, I want to go on that Northampton Town result. Northampton Town went 1 0 up against Bradford. Uh, I think they were very unlucky not to get, either get a point out of the game. But Bradford did pinch it and they got the two goals. So they got the three points. Um, but on the other hand, Newport beating Port Vale 1-0. Probably expected. Newport are really, you know, really going at the division this year. Um, best of luck to them. But for this result, I've gone for a 3-1 Newport win. My next one is the Oldham Athletic versus Grimsby. Oldham Athletic 2-2 against Plymouth Argyle at Plymouth Argyle. Grimsby Town losing to the crew that's Alexander. Mentioned that a bit earlier. Let's go talk about that crew result uh, crew result um on a Grimsby point of view. Disappointed that the office for Grimsby Town um you know point of view. It's one of them things where your the odds will probably stack against you. So, but on the other result, Oldham two two against Plymouth Argyle. That can't be a bad result, can it, Oldham? Um, two 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 away to Plymouth. But for this result, I've gone for a three one Grimsby Town win. My next one is Port Vale versus Plymouth. Plymouth I've just mentioned on the 2-2 result. Port Vale, not long mentioned, losing 1-0 to Newport away from home. Both, well no, Newport was, uh, result was probably expected all round. But Plymouth result, that's where, you know, you've got to be kicking yourself really. Um... But for this one, I've gone for a 2 0 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Sulphur City versus Cheltenham Town. Cheltenham beating Stevenage 4 2, 6 goal thriller. That must have been a game and a half. Sulphur 2 2 at Morecambe. Um, and Sulphur did go 1 0 up and not only missed one, but two penalties in that game. It is. I think it's a goalkeeper's uh, weekend. There's penalties being saved everywhere in the lower leagues. Um, but you miss two penalties. Salford, you know, they have to, got to be looking. That I should have had the three points missing two penalties as well with that. Um, Cheltenham 4-2 against Stevenage at home. Good result for uh, Cheltenham. Probably expected nothing less from Cheltenham. But, you know, you still got to go out there and get the result. Um, fair play to you, Cheltenham. Six goals, I would have loved to see that. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Scunford versus Morecambe. Ain't no one just spoke about Morecambe, just literally a game before. 2-2 two -two against Salford City. And Scunford... Losing 2-0 against Mansfield. Mention that at the top of the video. I ain't going to mention that Scunthorpe result too much because, you know, Scunthorpe weren't probably expecting nothing more. Um, Morecambe, on the other hand, you know, it's... you. Are you happy with the point? That's what I'll ask you, Morecambe fans. Are you happy with that point? Or do you think you deserve all three? Um... But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Carlisle. Um, you know, Stevenage... Carlisle 3-1 loses to Exeter. Stevenage losing 4-2 to Cheltenham. Carlisle losing at home 3-1 to Exeter. Probably expecting more than anything. No disrespect to Carlisle. But Exeter turning up at your place. You know, were probably expected to get the three points. 
the Stevenage, and I mentioned uh, losing four to Chatham. Are you gutted about that result, Stevenage fans? Um, do you think it's over a point or maybe the three? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Swindon Town versus Macclesfield. Swindon Town, 3 1 winners over Lake Norian. Macclesfield Town, 1 0 uh, at home to Crawley. Swindon Town beating Luton 3 1 at home. It probably is expected that um, Lake Norian result in on, the, on the Swindon Town point of view. Macclesfield 1 0 against Crawley. Probably expected a little bit more from Macclesfield, if I'm all honest. Um, but good point for Crawley or Percy, do you think? Um, so for this one, I've gone for a 3 0 Swindon Town win. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Bradford. Bradford, I mentioned that again in a minute. Um, Walsall, 0 0. At Colchester, probably expected a little bit more from Walsall um, in that game, if I'm all honest. But Bradford beating Northampton Town 2 1 by the skin of their teeth in that result. It is one of them things where you're Bradford probably expected to go get the three points, and it didn't nearly didn't quite work out that way. But Bradford did manage to get three points by the skin of their teeth with that result. I've gone for a 2-1 Bradford win for that one. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give it to a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to click on my link down below for my merch. It'll take you straight to my merch and straight to the LOL uh, company t-shirts.com uh, website. Just click on my merch link down below. It'll take you there. Um, but guys... You know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.